Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Star and today what I wanted to do was show you guys how I use my cash envelopes whenever I go out shopping. So that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So the first place we're gonna go today is Bath & Body Works. I don't even plan to use cash in there, but I'm gonna bring it just in case I see something that I might want. But I'm not gonna use cash because I have a reward in my little wallet from my Bath & Body Works app, and it says I can get an item that's up to $16.95 for free because I got all my rewards points and stuff, so we're gonna do that, and that's gonna be exciting. And then the next we have Target because there is a book that I want. I'm a huge reader and it just came out like last week, I think. And so we are going to use um, my spending envelope. It's like $20 and we're going to use my Target gift card that I got from work all the way before Christmas. So that's how we're going to use that. And then we are going to go to Walmart because I need some household cleaning supplies. Let me find my household envelope. I don't even know where it is. Okay, it's in my low priority binder. And um, I have 20, 30, 35, 40, $45 in my household envelope. So I'm gonna be taking this with me. We're gonna be getting some dish detergent, um, some air freshener, dishwasher soap, light bulbs, stuff like that. Oh, let me close this. And what I do is, I just kind of just take this with me and I use this cash that's in this envelope. I know I have this set amount of cash, so I shouldn't go over budget because I know exactly how much I have to spend and the same with my spending. I almost forgot to grab my Bath & Body Works envelope. I don't have much in it, but you never know. I might find something. Let's see, I think I just have $10 in here. Yep, just in. Okay, so we are going to take this with me. My Bath and Body Works, my household, my spending, and I'm going to stuff this in my purse. And we're going to go. So let's go. So we're back and what I'm going to do now is go through my wallet and my envelopes and figure out how much I spent and then I'm going to update my trackers. So first we went to Bath and Body Works and guys, it did not go as I planned. I went in there thinking I could use my rewards from my Bath and Body Works app and the rewards said that I could get something that was up to $16.95 for free. but. I did not read the fine print because the fine print said that the item had to be originally $16.95 and all three wood candles were $15.95 today and I thought I could get this for free. So I ended up using my card to purchase it um, and I was really excited about it. This is the Flower Child and I, I haven't had this scent before and it smells really good but as I was driving home I was like, I didn't plan to spend any money at Bath & Body Works today. Um, and I didn't plan on using my card, so I think I'm gonna return it. As long as I don't burn it, um, I can return it. So that's what I'm gonna do, even though it smells really good. But anyway, next I went to Target and I got all my receipts in here from where I went. But next I went to Target to get a book that was originally $20. I had a gift card that was for $10. So my goal was to, you know, spend at least about $10 on the book. You know, I get $10 off. Well, I went up to the register and the woman said that the book was 
1534 or something like that. Yeah, 1534. And I said, excuse me? And she said 1534. I was like, oh, okay, great. So I gave her my gift card. She took $10 off. Guys, I paid $5 for a book that was originally $20. Can you believe that? You want to see the book I got? It's this book. It's called The Atlas Complex. It says Power is Taken. This is part of a trilogy. Um, and this is the last book in the series. So I was really excited when it was going to come out. So that was like a surprise blessing, which are my favorite types of blessings. I mean, I love all blessings, but surprises are um, my favorite. So Target was really good. And then next I went to Walmart and I was able to find just about everything that was on my list except for one thing but that's okay because i started out with my household envelope with 45 dollars and now i have two dollars left which is why i love cash stuffing because if i went in there without a set amount to spend i probably would have grabbed all kinds of stuff off the shelf because i did browse i did browse but i only grabbed what was on my list and what i knew i had money for which which is the whole point you know so let me do this um tracker really quick by my pen so start out with 45 which means that i spent 43 so we're gonna subtract 43 and then we have a balance of two dollars which means my next cash stuffing i'm gonna have to um beef this envelope up a little bit and I didn't pull anything out of my Bath and Body Works envelope because I only had $10 in it in the first place. So I'm going to put this back. And Bath and Body Works goes after work. And household goes after gift. So all in all, today was a good day. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I also went to this little wings joint, but I didn't get any wings, where is it? Um, and I got, this is my receipt for it. And I got a Philly cheesesteak sub that I can eat. So let's see, in dining out, I started out with $20 or $25. And now I have 16 left. So all in all, today was a decent shopping day, and I think I did pretty well. I, um, I'm i going to return my candle and get my little $15 or $17 back, but I'll be happier for it. And because um, I don't really need it. Honestly, I just went to Bath and Body Works because I thought I could get something for free, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. As always, thank you so much for watching. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.